In this video, I got three or four item sets that I'll show you that you can use in League of Legends for Vladimir. If you guys are looking for a shortcut or don't need to watch the video and know how to import the item sets, all that, and you don't want a brief in-depth explanation, feel free to look in the description below and you have the link right to them. Don't waste time. There you go. Peace out. Without further ado, though, let's get into these item sets and I'll show you what each of these are about. So with the rocket belt and in all the sets i will have the starter plus consumable items that you would go on vladimir we have the dark seal the refillable uh basic start we have the doran's ring we have the hp pots doran's shield cloth armor boots coal you name it this is usually the items that you would go on vladimir when you're starting a game this will be in each of the item sets so don't worry and uh, yeah, feel free to pick your poison. For those that are looking for my opinion, I would suggest starting the Dark Seal Refillable. And uh, yeah, when in doubt, just go Dark Seal Refillable. I have broken down in these item sets the numbers required to get the components to build the item. So in this case, we have 850 gold, which is equal to the blasting wand, um, which that's very obvious. But as we go further along, we have 1050, which is also equal to Hextech Alternator. But once we have these two items, the last parts, which will be the Ruby Crystal and to finalize the Rocket Belt, will cost 1,300 total. So in this case, you can quickly look at the, at the item set, see which gold amount you will need before recalling, and that could just simplify your life. So feel free to edit these item sets as you can import them and edit them freely. You can take off these or edit the numbers should maybe a patch change, should the values change, or should they just disturb you, feel free to take these off. Down to the boots, I like to run Ionian boots if I'm running the Hextech Rocket Belt build, but you can also go Sorks or Swifties or really any other boots of your choice. The main two boots though being Ionians and Sorks. So I go directly into the Cosmic Drive, followed by Rabidans, Void Staff, and Zanyas. And at any point in here, I could also feel free to get uh, Dimajai Soul Stealer should I feel that I'm snowballing enough. Moving on to the Night Harvester build, once again we have the starters plus consumable items as usual. And then going down to the actual Night Harvester part, uh, uh, mind you that it says Rift Maker, but in the links below it will say Night Harvester once you download the item sets. But if you do find any errors, feel free to edit them because you are free to do that. So here we have, um, once again, the break points or the recall points that you want to recall at 850, 1050, 1285, 1720, and so on. However, I'll quickly explain the 1285 and the 1720 recall. Now, if you uh, find yourself with 1285 gold rather than 1050, I believe you can get more value out of that recall should you um, buy a blasting wand and an amp tome. This will give you 60 AP instead of 40 AP and the active or the passive, sorry, of Hextech Alternator. And now the passive of Hextech Alternator is on a 40 second cooldown, but the 20 AP that you're getting from the other purchase, which is Blasting One and Amtome, is not on a cooldown and it goes across all of your abilities. Now, moving on to the 1720 buy, this is the blasting one plus two amp tomes and once you do that well then you have even more ap and it's the same concept after having night harvester i'll go for my boots which tend to be sorks you could also go ionians or swifties uh, with this build i'd recommend sorks as we'll be getting plenty of ability haste with the night harvester's mythic passive after the sork shoes i'll go for the rabidans and this is the three core items of this build so once again night harvester sorks and rabidans now after the rabidans after your core here you'll go finish your magi soul stealer go into a void staff so they you just ignore the, the resistance and finish it off with a zanyas zanyas is what i usually do but you can also pick any item of choice at this point and that finishes the night harvester build now quickly going into the wrist maker i haven't done much uh, more experimenting with this one but this is what i would do if i were to build it so rift maker ionians or sorks you're always free to choose the boots don't let anything hold you back from choosing what you want to choose once you have the rift maker once you have the boots we're going to head over to a rabidans just to amp up your your AP get really strong then you follow it up with a void staff 
or Majai's, depending on what you need more. Do you need to penetrate the resistance or can you just go for the straight snowball finished off with the Zanyas and your Golden? At the very end here, I've also included a Vlad Vault, which pretty much contains all the items that would potentially interest Vladimir here. The starter items, the mythics, the sorks, and then just almost every AP item here that requires no mana. And that's going to be it for the Vladimir Vault. And that's also going to be it for all these item sets. To download and import a item set into your League of Legends, you're just going to want to come up to your backpack icon, followed by going into your items. This will open up all available item sets that you have maybe already. Then you'll have three buttons on the side here. You're going to want to click on the first one, which is the import item set button, and then you'll have two options, either to paste a copied set or to select a file. If you select a file and you have downloaded one, then you can just find it and import it that way. Otherwise, you can copy the text that will be in the description under each item set and paste it in here as well. And both of these methods work. Once again, you will be able to find all the item sets in the description. Should I decide to change any item sets or make any updates, the first to find out are always the ones that are hanging out in my stream at twitch.tv slash dugu, so feel free to go over there. Or also in my Discord, those are the two main places to find everything update-wise regarding Vladimir and also Dugu's world gang type shit. Okay, that's it. I'm out. Peace. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.